They're the unseen heroes of children who've been neglected and abused, but every year these guardians get some of the limelight on Foster Family Day. Now, the event this month honoured foster families who've opened their homes to young victims and made a positive impact in their lives. Desmond Lee and his wife Tiffany Chia are two such foster parents. And they've been doing this for about two years, and we're pleased to have them in studio with us tonight to share uh, their journey with us. Uh, Tiffany, Desmond, welcome to the studio. So tell us, uh, Tiffany, come to you first. Uh, what did spark you on this journey to become a foster parent? Um, so my parents used to provide care to children with another organization. Mm. So they introduced us to the concept of oh, looking after children that we did not give birth to. Mm. And then professionally, I'm a social worker. Mm. So I know that children... There's high demand of, of care for children that cannot, cannot be with their family. So that's how I got him introduced into this whole fostering idea. Yeah, and I always liked children. So uh, I remember at that time when before we went into fostering, uh, what happened was that we got our house and then more rooms than adults in the house. <laughs> so what happened is that we, we sat down and discussed what should we do next. And then mm. children is one of the, the, the thing that came into mind and then... Uh, since we have not got our own children, so I was telling her, why don't we do fostering? She, I was she was telling me, why don't we do fostering? Let's just right. start it. Yeah. 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 Did, yeah. You take, did you take much convincing? Uh, no, I was quite happy to do it. Mm. So, so now you guys um, uh, are fostering a, a little girl, a three-year-old yes. girl, yes. I believe. Yes. Uh, tell us about what the experience was like. I mean, from the moment she entered the doors, no, maybe even before that, you know, when you first met her, and then how she started you know, in the family, how she's like now. Tell us more about that. She came to us when she was 10 months old. Mm. Um, a little uh, baby with big eyes, probably a bad haircut, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of insecurities mm. and uh, a lot of need for love. And then um, now she's a confident three-year-old, talks non-stop, <laughs> uh, bosses daddy around the house, uh, tells us how to catch up on our household chores. And I think um, having her in our family is just, it's just perfect. She's just such a joy to have. And what, tell us a bit more about your experiences then, about um, what, what it is that the children need, sort of the environment that, that they need. So, I think we I always think... say that um, every child deserves to be loved and deserves to be part of a family. Uh, and some of these children do not have a chance to do that. Mm. So, to be foster parents, we really, all we need really is just a roof over our head and a lot of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and most of the time, I mean, as foster parents, you know, uh, as foster children, you, you don't, you go into it blind, right? You don't know what to expect. And uh, they, they, they really require this kind of uh, a supportive environment to, to, to thrive. Um, how has the little girl that you are fostering right now, sort of, how does she adjust to that, that, that new dynamic? I think, I think it's all about patience. Mm. So we take time to convince her that we really care for her. And uh, we do things for her. For example, uh, when she first came, uh, she, was, she wasn't really close to me. So mm. mommy tells her to make, ask me to make milk for her. Mm. So some little thing, so something that fills her stomach and then it becomes a very daddy practical makes way of yes. letting her know that no, not all men are scary. Right. And this is the man that's going to love you. Mm. Yeah. And I understand you also have another addition to your family. Yes. Uh, so tell us a bit about how this, this is, how, how it's all working out. We're, like I always tell my friends, we're just like any other regular family, um, teaching our older girl to welcome a younger sibling into the family. So we involved her in all our prenatal checks, mm. we read her books, we brought her for our appointments, prepared her, yeah. got her to fold the baby's clothes, set up the cot. And she was one of the first few people to meet the baby at the hospital. Mm, mm. And I think she was just a born, she's just a born sister. She's so loving and, and so territorial, you know. My sister, my sister, we need to bring her home mm. every day, everywhere we go. So I remember the time that we were in hospital, she gave her sister a kiss. Mm. So that was a very memorable uh, uh, memory for me. She, she asked her sister, do you have cough? You know cough? We'll bring you home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just listening to you guys talk, you, you guys are, have really accepted her into the family. She calls the biological uh, sister, uh, uh, Mimi. sister. Yes, youngest. And then she calls you daddy, calls you yes, mommy. Yes. Right. But this, this situation may not be there for the long haul, isn't it? I mean, yes. uh, at some point in time, uh, barring the, the, the situation and circumstance, she may have to leave the household. Yes. It's going to be a very emotional kind of uh, situation to be in, isn't it? In, in all fairness, we have not dealt with any departures and any um, reunification. Uh, but I think when we embarked on fostering journey, we, we have been constantly reminded, and we are also reminding ourselves that it's an inevitable part. 
uh, that they may one day have to go home to their families. Mm. Um, I think all we can do is really wish them well and hope for the best for them. If I could just put you on the spot for one sentence, a pitch to people on why they should foster, because there's a shortage of foster families right now. And if you could tell them in 10 seconds why they should foster, what would it be? Every child deserves to be loved. Every family could do with more children. Take up fostering. <laughs> right. Couldn't say it better myself. All right, thank you so much, guys, for, for coming to our studios and sharing your you. journey with us. Thank We've you. been speaking there with Desmond and Tiffany, uh, sharing their experience as foster parents.